let's give this a little test, shall we? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You've seen Yumi with the zoomies. You've seen Kench on a bench. And now it's time for karma and a shawarma. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> anyway, we're moving straight past it. Today we're doing something that was actually sent to me in an actual email. That's right. The carrier pigeons dropped this off at the front door. And it was a, a terrible idea. But on paper, well, it was a terrible idea on paper. And it's a terrible idea in theory as well. But we're going to be trying it today. It's something that we all we all know and we absolutely know it. Like, we're, we're fully aware of in regards to karma. But obviously, if you do or do not know, karma's W, her little tether, will actually heal you. For 20% of your missing HP when you proc it and then it will also give you back another 20% if it manages to snap on the person which will I think snare or stun them I'm not sure what it is it just roots them so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be building five warmogs and a spirits visage or maybe four warmogs and a spirits visage and then we maybe get ourselves a, a little merc tread as well but I tested this obviously you saw in the previous little clip there of the test and the practice tool we had about 4,000 HP I mean we obviously were taking a lot of damage at the same time but it's you know if you're in a team fight you could absolutely respectably agree that that is a considerable amount of damage to expect in, in, in that space of time. I mean, you have an entire, like, second and a half or so for it to proc. That being said, uh, will us having just a lot of HP and a lot of CC and a lot of running around going very fast and possibly auto-attacking people, will it be enough to be of any value to our team? Let's find out today. After you quickly give me the subscription that I very desperately require in my entire... It's, it's the most important thing in my life. I'm a, ma I'm a numbers man. I know this isn't Phil to Diamond today, but at the same time, we, we are still keeping the FF movement alive. Like, let's not get it twisted here. Like, yes, okay, maybe a couple days ago, I did have like a three or four minute rant on a YouTube video about uh, Easter eggs. And I, I honestly, God, I'm start, I think I'm starting to lose my grip on reality. Call it, call it quarantine cabin fever or something, but uh, <laughs> it's just what's happening in the current world. I think I'm not the only person feeling this way. And I'm just happy to be here giving you all some company today. Hopefully giving you some company today. You can put me on the background if you want. I'm not going to be offended by it, but um, we're running grass with the undying today, uh, which is going to give us even more HP. Uh, I didn't actually, in the practice tool, I actually didn't really stack my grass with the undying at all. If I stacked it maybe a little bit more, then it would be safe to assume that it would be a little bit chonkier. Uh, we're just going to walk out of that gank. Uh, I don't know you. Uh, you're a stranger. I don't like it. I don't like what I'm seeing here. That being said, I'm going straight back in on that. going to yeet. Actually coming in hot. He's done it. The Olaf popped off. I got a gank from a jungler. Never would have saw it coming. <laughs> Not used to it. So this is kind of weird. But like, the, I'm, I'm, this is the first time I've ran the Dark Star skin. The ulti, like the Q on it, looks very much like the ulti version of it. And it's kind of like, not putting me off necessarily, but it's certainly like a bit of a strange one. Let's get some see it, get some uh, poke down. I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, fair enough, Olaf. You know what? I'm not going to fight you over this. Bang her out. Yeet. There we go. Olaf, that is yours, buddy. No. Nah. <laughs> My Olaf. My jungler is smurfing. So, to say that this build uh, somewhat relies on me using my W might be an understatement. It very heavily relies on me using my W. So, I'm going to look at this. Uh, the cooldown actually doesn't uh, change at all. So, realistically, our uh, skill path is going to remain from what I can gauge exactly the same. We're still going to max uh, Q first, then probably E. I, as far as I'm aware, the, the up in health regen has not changed in any capacity if you, uh, if you pop, if you cop yourself, uh, extra points in Tiroli. We're still gonna put points in there anyway, regardless, so, like, I'm not gonna be, like, sitting here saying, alright, we're gonna get an extra, at level 6, we're gonna get an extra point in Q, because that's what that is, but, um, most certainly, it's, uh, it's not gonna make, like, a tremendous amount of difference, so, we don't have to worry about that, we actually can get a little bit extra damage out with the Q, a little bit more shooting out with the E, and the W remains exactly the same, so we got a decent first back there, we actually got two assists straight off the bat, uh, uh, crazy i i know i'm playing against people probably below my skill level but it's still absolutely nuts to me that i wasn't the first person to die in my team uh, in top lane i'm playing top lane and i haven't entered it yet <laughs> that is a joke and a reference the only people that watch this series will get it's an inside club 
if you don't know, now you know now. Let's get a cheeky reward down there. I actually am fairly convinced that I will just win this. Don't even need to get the uh, the extra the extra HP down. I don't even need to use my ulti there. I, I'm, I'm fairly convinced I just win these trades. Now that obviously can all change. Here's the thing. I'm not going to lie to you and be like, I think the gank potential on this lane is going to be insane. Like for me teleporting to other lanes and helping out other lanes. And for instance, right here. Um, you know what? It, that if they can put, a, if they had a ward, I would probably TP to it. Maybe not like immediately, because Aurelia would like straight up like smack me out. But there could have been something there. The Aurelia is kind of, I don't know if on the ropes is the right phrase, but she's definitely struggling. We can get tower plating for absolute free here. Whether or not Warwick is able to come top. By the way, we're getting grass with the Undying procs like it's going out of style. <laughs> Who could have ever guessed that it was this easy to stack grasp with the undying? I mean, that being said, I am playing a ranged top laner, so there is a good chance I'm incredibly insecure. <laughs> it's going to be maybe a little bit awkward. We are obviously going to go for the Spirit's Visage first. It's not going to do a tremendous amount as far as, like, stopping Warwick and Aurelia murdering us if we actually get into a tussle. Provided we just have the self-restraint to hold W, or ulti mantra W, then I see absolutely no reason why this can't be, like, we're fine. She is. Actually, she kind of playing with fire right now. Look at the flash over. See, I thought that was a bait, but it was a bait. <laughs> you know what? We've got teleport up. We're smiling. See, what we're doing there, just so you know, is that we're intentionally letting that circumstance happen to us. We don't want to demoralize this Aurelia to the point where she's like, I don't want to play this game anymore. We inspire hope to crush hope. You can't, you can't crush someone's morale if they have none to begin with. So we give her that, we give her that one thing and we let it, we let it happen so that we can make stonks off of the, uh, off of our trouble. I kind of messed it up a little bit there. This is good though. This is actually very good. Okay, just banged her out like it was nothing. <laughs> and that is one dead Orn. I'm gonna actually give my man the zoomies here. Yay! Oh! Okay, back to lane. While you're here, if you're watching at this point in the video, there's a very high possibility that you're actually like, I'm not saying you're an OG and you're better than everybody else, but there's a good chance you watch like quite a lot of my videos. If you haven't stumbled here and you're like, maybe like a, like a 90 year old man and you've kind of like gotten out of the nursing home and you're like, I have no idea who this man is. Then, first of all, if you like what you're hearing, by all means, subscribe. But second of all, I, I was talking with Maisie today, actually. You know, we're having a conversation with uh, one of our boys, Kev. And we're talking about how uh, some of my ideas have actually been ideas that were genuinely well-founded in reality and not just terrible meme builds that were horrendous in all accounts and we were thinking like what are some of the other builds that you've done that have, you would actually recommend to other players as a means of like you know here's something that you can throw the enemy off guard but also it's actually kind of viable i mean i've had stuff that has gone into lcs and lec like off the top of my head money man cannon was something that i um i don't know popular popular pop popularized is the right word but we did money man cannon which was back in the klepto days of last season wherein um, you could uh, basically make more gold than anybody else in the game without farming a single minion as a top laner. It was kind of spicy, a little bit strange, but it worked very, very nicely. And uh, that obviously, that, that went into LCS or LCK or one of these. And then she missed all of her abilities. I'm just going to get some health off her quickly. AP Jarvan was another one. That's a recent one, actually, wherein we ran the uh, Airy Jarvan with his E. And this was kind of a bug for like, a, I don't know if it's even necessarily a bug, but it was a thing for a very long time. And I thought, okay, we're going to revisit this and have a real look at it. And you can proc Airy on Jarvan AP a lot of times. And his, 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 his Damasian standard, his E, which is his flag, scaled with AP anyway. So I thought, like, if we build on full AP, we get Ludens. Maybe we can actually do some chunks of damage whilst also, um, you know, dropping Airy onto one of your teammates multiple times within the space of like five seconds. What do you know? It got put in pro play. I don't think it got nerfed because it's very niche and very like, I wouldn't even say it's particularly good, but it's certainly something that's super interesting that when you think support, you do not think IS Jarvan. But I was thinking like, what would be the interest in like, maybe like compiling like some top 10 builds of like, here is some Mimi builds that you can do that are actually good and that you might be successful on. I don't know how we can gauge it. Maybe leave a comment or leave a like or something on this and I'll gauge that as my response of like, go for it, Ross. Um, but it'll be like just an overlook of like everything we've done because let's be honest, right? If you've been following this channel 
for any length of time or even not you've just subscribed in the last 10 seconds and you've gone like all right maybe i'll check ross's backlog of videos because my god this guy has like over almost 2000 2000 videos and we'll see like okay here's the meme stuff that works and like we'll try and see like or maybe i'll pull it on twitter or even even just, if you're gonna leave a comment then leave a comment saying like okay this build was like super stupid i really enjoyed it i tried it myself and it worked very nicely okay we're just gonna walk away this actually might be a good uh, a good thing for like how strong this is right so watch this right boom and a boom dude i'm back to me i'm back to major hp she i'm pretty sure she healed me through that trade <laughs> but yeah if any like as i say like any any of those stupid builds or whatever like you know get oh, we can have you know we can we can we can really we can run the system here because we can just be like yo if you want to watch the full video hey the video is there go and check it out yada yada farming playing you oh my god where did they all come from dude what just happened <laughs> Oh, I thought that was, I saw Olaf and I got a freight. I got the freight of my life, dude. Oh my goodness, great. That was actually terrible, dude. Where the hell did they all come from? <laughs> when I ask for a gank top, that is most certainly not what I mean. I do not mean bring the whole squad. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dying, except I'm not. I am not dying, actually. No, I am dying, dude. Is she fed? <gasps> She's nine and two. Okay. I was like, nah, man. And then she started hitting me, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I can assure you that is not going to happen again. That being said, if she builds a Blade Ring King, we may be done for, but I'm convinced that she is not within, you know, the mindset of which to do that. She's just going to be like, we go Infinity Edge, we go Storm Ranger, we go Rapid Fire Cannon. Yes. Then we maybe go Bloodthirster or Guardian Angel. If, if it's getting a little bit too much, then I'm happy to uh, press my W here and then heal and then walk away. Please, sir. Please, sir. <laughs> oh, dude, this is absolutely, this is pathetic. This is, this is pathetic. He's all in me. All right, come on, mate. Don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass yourself, Warwick. You are a human. He is so unbelievably fuming dude <laughs> that was so dirty that was absolutely dirty that was dirty for no good reason may i add why karma like who hurted you you've got no idea but every single top laner in platinum 3 possibly irreparable damage <laughs> quite possibly irreparable damage there how about do we want to tussle i mean i'll take that <laughs> That's just bad timing, that is. Right, let's get in it. Let's get in amongst it, dude. Oh, it's a double kill. I stole two kills. Oh, yeah. We may have won slightly too hard here. <laughs> Are they just being pinned into base right now? What's happening? I'm just standing here tanking damage to try and bait someone down to attack me. I wanted. I need to limit test a little bit. Actually, I've got a war mugs. What am I doing? I've got a war mugs. Of course, I'm just going to heal up immediately. Okay. Some. Okay, I healed up far too quickly there. Yeah, interesting. Let it happen. Heal up. Oh, I didn't get it, dude. I just think, oh, th that's a little bit more CC than you <laughs> you want. I was like, okay. Okay, it's Thresh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll attack him. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's an Orin. Okay, well, we can maybe make that work. Oh, it's a really a two. Well, then, we're just going to call it what it is. Uh, a bit of a failure. Tell you what, though, I can definitely, like, keep them off of, uh, keep them off a dragon. I think, like, just myself is, like, more than enough to, to make this happen. Has he got a... Uh, oh, because we have a Yumi on the team and we have Senna as well. They have, uh, they've opted for the Executioner's Calling, which is actually super bad. I think if it was any other champion that wasn't Yumi, I think we'd be actually pretty okay. We'd be pretty golden as far as she goes. But, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty fed uh, Tristana. On top of the fact that we, I mean, we have Olaf, we have Karma, we have all this. It's like a very, um, a very free... Uh, executioner's calling pickup like there's absolutely no reason why they wouldn't go for that now sir 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 please sir 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 <laughs> the teleport insanity as much as i'm like okay we didn't get the six war monks that we would maybe would require we got like we're, we're about to get two really we've got we've gotten two um just to prove that fact before the before the game ends i'm just gonna buy it 
really quickly if I can. If the game lasts for five seconds. Oh, please last for five seconds. He's done it. Oh, wait, the game didn't even end. Okay, there you go. Got our blue buff as well. Uh, they have 100% gone for Baron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out bot side. Have they gone for Baron? They have Tristana and she's super fed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was like, that is taking an awful long time for them to do anything there. We're going to we're gonna cowardly buy back her. You know, what? I think I'm actually going to go for the um the Ninja Tabby as well. Because they've got like the suppress. Like, uh, you know, the, the, I'm not actually particularly fussed one way or the other about what they have as far as like stuns are concerned. But the Tristana is most certainly like a threat to me. She's got 13 kills. So I think she's a threat to them. A anyone is what I'm trying to say. We're getting it with with a Yumi on us. We're very very spooky. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa, that executioner does business, dude. Wait a minute. We've lost the game. <laughs> we lost the game, dude. That was a poor showing, <laughs> dude. Oh man, that's so sad. See if they just didn't fight and they backed it up, man. We would have been able to save that. That's super unfortunate. That executioner is really shredding me. That was good fun though. That will have to get get an honor for that. But nevertheless, that is a stupid build. It is a hundred percent worth trying. Granted, the damage isn't great, but in team fights, you are basically unkillable. Like I would not consider that last fight a team fight necessarily. One v twos, you've got a very high chance. I mean, you could easily mix this up with like actual health and armor items. I just picked Warmogs because it was just stupid. But like, you could easily go for like Sunfire, Randuins, uh, uh, something that gives armor and HP, and you're pretty much golden. But beyond that, thank you very much for watching. That was a very fun build. Uh, it, I don't know how it would rank on the top ten stupid builds of Ross Boom Socks, but it was certainly a good one. Thank you very much for watching. Anyway, have a great day. Give this video a like and comment with some of your silly suggestions down below. See you later. Thank you.